Where is the... Oh, hi! Um, I'm back, and I'm getting rid of the glasses because of the glare. So, <laughs> moving on. We're going to do the sketch marker now, and then we'll move on to other products. So, here's the Copic sketch marker. This is B24 Sky. I use this one actually a whole heck of a lot. If you do anything um, with graphic arts or hand-drawn um, illustration work, you will learn that the colors you go through the most are the colors you thought you would go through the least. But also I find that you go through the color you love the most. Um, case in point, anybody who really knows me knows that my favorite color is French blue. I've always loved the color French blue. It looks phenomenal on me, but it's also just a darn cool color. And the, the Copic version of it is uh, their B34, their manganese blue. And uh, it's, it's a great, great, pretty, pretty color. Comes out nice. I, I just ordered my various ink refill. So as you can see, it's, it's kind of dying. But that said, this is going to be my third time buying manganese blue. And um, the reason why I kept buying the marker is because until recently, I didn't know of a website that sold the various ink for less than the marker. So when I was in a huge money crunch, I couldn't go out and spend $5.99 on the various ink refill. I would just buy the new marker for like $4.80. I did the math. Not the smartest thing in the long run. Some colors, yes, it'll make sense if you don't buy the various ink refill. I get that. I don't use enough pale sepia to validate buying the various ink refill. If I run out of that, I'm just gonna buy a new marker. Um, I've had my pale sepia for two and a half years. I think I've used it in three pieces. So really, I'm not worried about it. Meanwhile, manganese blue is used on, I'll just go through my DCU list. Um, Batgirl, Wonder Woman, Harley Quinn, this is her eye color. And okay, basically any female character with the exception of maybe Poison Ivy and Zatanna, you're using it. Oh, no, wait, Zatanna wears black. Yeah, you're using it. Um, this mixed with Toner Gray 2 is what winds up giving you this highlight that just looks kind of bad in my webcam, but in real life, it's awesome and powerful. So you wind up using a lot of it. Now, moving on. So it does have the smaller chisel tip than the original one does, um, meaning it doesn't cover as much space as quickly. But because it's a little bit more concentrated, I find that I get blend better blending results with it than I do with the original. So I'll lay down my black or any of my gray tones in the original, and then I'll go the color over it. And then if I have the color in sketch of the original marker that I had used, I'll do that too if I don't because I only have grayscales and um, cool shadow and uh, colorless blender in original. I just kind of make it up as I go along and try to figure it out because art is trial by error. Rome wasn't built in a day. So you have the chisel nib and then they do this really handy thing that I always forget about until I show it to someone where there's no band around this cap but there's a band here and that gray band is what's telling you that this is your brush because if you go over to the chisel you'll see that it's it's white so it's sort of nice that if you get that down where if you're looking for the gray ring of death or the gray ring 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 of win however you want to look at it um if you're looking for the gray ring that's how you know you're going to pull out and you're going to have your super brush now I love the super brush because it's very, very flexible, but it still has a rigid base. I'm trying to think of how I can show it to you without like killing my marker. See how I can get it to sort of bend up like that. Um, women will understand me when I say this, you guys ignore me. It's very similar to an eyeliner brush that comes with the felt 
the uh, liquid eyeliner that comes with the felt brush, but awesome because the felt brush sucks. So it has a little bit of rigidity to it. Is that a real word? I'm going to say it's a real word. Um, it's a little bit more rigid, but it still has give. So you can really get into those super tight, super fine areas and you can wind up covering something that otherwise would have been impossible. So I do like the sketch markers and um, case in point with the sketches. This entire piece was done with the sketch marker. Um, there is even the black. I actually wound up using my black, um, my special black, my 110 on this. So um, she's all she's all sketch and uh, it's just as professional and just as um, detailed. So there's no difference in the ink. It's just what you prefer to use. And from a female artist's perspective, I don't have very large hands. I don't have very tiny hands either. I'm, I'm average height. I'm five foot, I'm five foot six and a half and I lie and I say I'm five foot seven. So for me, um, with my hands, it's very easy to just, you know, whatever with my much narrower base marker. And it also means it's something more suitable to what you're used to holding. The originals are kind of big if you compare them. I mean, you're holding this giant hunkin' block. So after a while, you are going to cramp up. And if you're like me and you're from the computer generation, you already probably have carpal tunnel. So let's not add to it, shall we? So before we move on from here into the next part, we're going to start with this awesome, awesome invention. Mwah! I bring this to shows and every anchor is like, oh, Julie, can I use it? And the answer is no. Unless I know you. Or you ink some of my work. So Zeke, yes. Now, this little baby is the Copic Ink Kit. Believe it or not, they released a full kit that comes totally prepackaged with that didn't come in the kit. Everything you need. Now, some things have been added to mine because I've personalized it. Some things haven't. So... I think I'm showing this to you as is. Yeah. Maybe. Um, I might have an extra marker in here, so don't sue me if I have this wrong. It comes with an original marker in um, the 100, the black, a sketch marker in the 100, the black. However, mine's been replaced with a special black, and that's just so I can get a truer, darker black when I need it. It comes with a wide marker in the black and I had never gotten to use the wides before so that was really cool. It comes with the various ink refill in the black and then it comes with the super cool SP multi-liner pens and because that wasn't enough it also has two of the multi-liner refills with it. So this is everything you need to ink. It is amazing. It's a lifesaver. I adore it. It's my BFF. It's my Biffle. Um, even if I'm going over to my mom's house to do laundry, I won't pack my whole art kit because that's not even my whole art kit. Like that's, that's, that's not even like, it, 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 hi Zoe. Um, so this pretty much goes with me everywhere. If I had the money, I would have one of these in my car and one of these in my apartment at all times, mostly just because then I would never lose it. Uh, which I've done, but clearly I always find it. So I love this product. It's going to be reversed no matter what, but, um, it's great. And it comes in a nice little handy zipper case with a cute little handle. So it's easy for you to grip and grab. And it really is just sort of pack and go. So before I get into the actual pens, I'll just give you a look one more time. And every website that I have mentioned so far as a Copic resource have these. I have seen them on all of them. So dickblick.com, copicmarkers.com, and Carpe Diem store. So the next vlog is going to be about inking and inking resources. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Bye!